Greetings viewers, welcome to my channel. And today's video I have a different setup, actually a new setup. I have my PV6 USB mixer connected to my Afforda board uh, with the K-Line pedals and Azer. And what today what we're gonna do is we're gonna sound demo the Wine Cellar Bass Driver DI. And for those that were asking, I had one of my viewers ask, well, how come you really can't get a lot of dirty tones out of it? And you can, but it's not really the dirtiest pedal that I've worked with before. It's more of a clean drive. I think what you're going to notice a lot too is that this pedal is really just designed as your basic run-of-the-mill preamp. And if you really want those overdrive gritty tones, you're probably going to need to get a separate pedal for that. But what we're going to do is we're going to connect up the wine cellar to the mixer, which it is. And I have a dynamic mic I'm going to, dynamic mic I'm going to put down here. And what we're going to do is we're going to have some demos here for me as I noodle with my P-Bass copy from ZLG. It's a Chinese made one, but it sounds pretty good. Did a shield job and uh, a fret job. So it actually plays quite well. But uh, here we go. Let's give this a try. Listen to the wine cellar specifically when I turn it off and turn it on. You're going to notice that even with some exaggerated, you know, I have the drive at one o'clock and harmonics all the way up in the mix at 100%. You're going to notice it's more of a mid scoop kind of to have that. It does get close to that Sanzamp driver tone, but it's not that gritty. You really have to turn that drive up high to get that grit sound that a lot of people are familiar with with the Sanzamp. And it just doesn't do it as well as the Sansam, but it's still a very good pedal for a budget pedal. So let's give this a try. So as you can hear, you can get pretty gritty, but the harshness of the top end really is harder to control unless you had a more EQ either before or after, usually after the effect. That's what I use that 10 band for, but it's capable of a dirty tone. I would say it's not the best tone, but it does a really good clean drive tone. And I think that's what this pedal is most uh, suited for in terms of on your pedal board. If you want to have just a nice clean sound to work from and then maybe have an overdrive or a distortion after that to get that type of sound. All right, and just for fun, I'm gonna do a couple of the other pedals here in line, and it does get a little noisy when I'm going direct into the board, but if I go use the XLR, it's not as bad, but you gotta expect that with a little bit of, I have basically a gain pedal here, I have another EQ, compressor, chorus, reverb which are your modulation effects and then i got some final adjustments with the 10 band eq and the way i have it set up is a lot of trouble but normally that would be more suited for a larger bass amp on stage so let's just try the boost pedal the compressor and the wine cellar and see how it sounds
this one has a soft touch. It doesn't have any punching noise when compared to some of these more heavier mechanical ones. So I hope this video is helpful. If there's other sound demos you want me to do with these pedals, and I will be doing more videos with this now that I have the audio set up, please let me know. Thanks for watching.